All right, I'm just going to do a light sanding. I've got uh, 220 grit sandpaper, and I've already got two coats of uh, semi-gloss clear coat on here. I just need to go through and hit it lightly and get a third coat, and I think we'll be good to go. We're going to use a tack cloth and go over it before we put another coat on, just to get all that dust off. should do it. I've already got one coat of sealer on uh, the rock and the sand, so I'll just need one more when I'm done with this. Make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area. If you're going to use a flammable material like this, combustible. That's why I like this clear coat in the aerosol can. It's a little more expensive, but it's a heck of a lot easier than using a brush. You just have to be careful not to hold it in one spot and you want to fan nice and evenly and not get it too heavy. You want to do it in multiple thin coats instead of trying to get it all in one heavy coat. Otherwise you'll get runs. So now I'm going to use a matte finish and I'm going to hit the sand and the rocks one more time. What that'll do is seal it so if moisture gets on the rock, it won't smudge or smear the paint. Um, you should be able to lightly feather dust the base that it shouldn't mess with the sand too much because we're putting a seal coat over top of it. It'll protect the mushroom up front. It'll protect the needles, the pine cones, so you can dust that stuff without having to worry too much about destroying it. Oh, clearly you want to use a light feather duster and not a rag with a pledge or a heavy broom, but there you go. Alright, we're going to let that dry and then I'm going to come back and put some moss around the edge. Okay, what I've done is I've laid this out, the moss out, and I've sprayed adhesive. And I'm going to go through and just keep on going.
working ahead of myself. Take it from up here and put it on. Okay guys, we're just about totally finished. I think the green adds a nice pop to it. I think I'm going to go through, I'm going to connect that. I'll add some there in a minute. Just want to give you a once over. And then here, the way this is built out, kind of overlaps that moss there. And if he doesn't like that, I can cover that up, but I thought it was a neat little touch. Got a turkey bone. That's a leg. You can see the spur there. Added that. I don't know if you can... Mushroom, pine cone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and I'm going to spray that moss with a clear mat just to coat it and I'll do a couple light coats on it. The taxidermy habitat build completed. All it needs now is the bear. I'm going to load it in the truck and take it to the taxidermist today. I had fun building it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and followed along. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching everybody.